Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Microsoft to do full tutorial 2024. Right now, this is the application we're talking about. It's currently on black because it's following my um, computer theme. Anyway, to install this one, I wanna take you first on this website. Let me just minimize on the application. So this is the website you should be looking for. It's going to be called todo.office.com. Here's the link right there. And once you're here, you'll see that you can download it for free, of course, via Android. You can use it on your mobile devices, via Windows, or even via iOS. You heard it right. It's also applicable for mobile devices, tablet, laptops, and the works. So since I'm using my Windows application or Windows PC, I've used the middle one. And it should look like this. Uh, let me just enlarge it. Perfect. Now, once you're here, the thing you'll notice is everything is black, right? This is just my own preference. You can edit the theme very easily. And that's the first thing I want to show you. So, uh, to edit the theme, simply click on the three dots right there. You can now choose which color you're looking for. If you want it to be a little bit purple, pink right there you see the font right here it's changing or if you want a scenery here we have it you want a little bit on the beach side you want a lighthouse how about a little field i think this one works best or a beach right there so with that being said you can simply use this as a template and choose everything you want you can also sort them by importance due date alphabetically and creation date However, for this option right here, we're talking about task right now. And that takes me on my second notification or second thing I want to show you. You'll see on the left side, we have so much things going on. So we have my day, we have important, plan, assigned to me, task, untitled group, untitled list. So much more, right? We also have the very powerful search bar right here. So that being said, the first thing you want to take note of is that these things right here are called lists. I can simply delete them. I can simply remove them. For example, let me just delete this one. Perfect. So by default, it should look like this. Now to create a list, simply click on that new list right there. And then you'll create a list right here. You can edit the name, of course, sample list one. And now once I edit it, I can even add some emojis. For example, I want this to be a little bit more um, confetti. Of course, under list, we can add some tasks now. To add the task, simply click on that button right there. I'm going to type this one, work task. And then I'm going to add some more. How about let's add some personal task right here. I'm going to add some more. Um, I'm going to type in, let's say basketball. This is a hobby. How about um, eating? Something like that. So every task right here are just for discussion purposes. And right now they're inside some lists. We can take them out of the list and place them in my day. Or basically my day is inside or the landing page right here. For example, I want to type basketball here. I'm going to type in sample task 2. Sample personal task 1 right here. So you notice this are a different set of tasks rather than the one inside my list. Pretty awesome, right? And also I can edit my list here very differently. So it is going to be different once inside my day or the landing page. So I can now know which is which. I can also change the reflection here. For example, sample personal task is the top of my list. I want to bring it down. I can just simply hold the task and bring it down right here basketball i want to put it at the very top with no problem at all and that is task for you now for some reason you want to prioritize some task i can just show you this little icon right here the star we all know what this for this is for favorite or important or marking a task as important so click on the star icon right there it's not gonna be removed on your list but it will add up on this section right here of course you can edit this also by your own preference now for some reason you're here you can have an option that says hide smart list or pin to start 
That being said, let's talk about test some more. If I click on this checkbox right there, you'll hear a, you're gonna hear a ding, a notification sound, and then it will create a subsection right here that is for completed. Now, for some reason, I wanna check my important right now, so nothing showing up. If I click on this one, show completed task, I have my basketball right there. Of course, I can remove it as important. It will remove right here. If I wanna work on it some more, I can just click on the icon right there to bring it back on the task list. Pretty awesome, right? Now, for some reason, I want to explore the task. If I click, for example, the work edit, you'll have this option on the right side. You can add a step, for example, write a script. Since this is a work edit, I'm gonna type in write a script right there. Next step. How about let's add some more. I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna type in raw files just for discussion purposes, okay? Now for some reason, I want a reminder. Here's my option right here, the due dates right here, repeat and add the file just for references. And note, this is just basically a reminder for me. So sample note, you can put anything here. Also, this is pretty important. If you click on the three dots right there, you can promote to task. So if I click on promote to task right here, raw file will be under on this option right there. So if I click on the checkbox, you'll see one of one has been completed. If I click on the main one or the main task, the main task has been completed. Pretty awesome, right? Now, if I click on add it to my day, it's currently inside on my day. So my day is basically the landing page of the do list. It, we don't call it landing page, so my day has a pretty good ring to it. Now, let's move over to groups. Groups are basically folders that you can put your list to. That's the de basic definition to it. So if I click on this icon right there, create a group, I'm going to type this one, sample group one. And the purpose of this one is basically organization. Because for example, I have another list here. Let me just create three lists, okay? So sample list three. I want to organize this one. I can put sample list one inside the sample group one. And then I can create another group, for example, group two. I can put sample list two right there and sample list two over here. Sorry about that. It's not showing up, sorry. Perfect. So if I expand sample group one, I have my sample list inside it. If I expand group two, I have those two lists right there. I can simply interchange both of them with just holding and dropping with no problem at all. Pretty awesome, right? Of course, it goes without question, inside a task or inside a group, you can edit this one. No problem at all. Of course, we can just edit this to make it more appealing. Pretty awesome, right? So once inside the task, you can check this one. For example, I'm inside sample group right here. If I click on this, I'm going to have an option to share them. So give me a second. Inside a task or inside a list, if you click on that share list right here, you can create an invitation link. Now, for some reason, let me just add a task here, sample five. If I click on that one, I can assign them to whoever is invited on my to-do list. Think of it as a collaboration. If you're familiar with Asana, this is a little bit more product management, a little bit on the side. Take note about that one, okay? So also, you can remain the, rename the list. Take note about that one. You can put emojis and stuff that works. Now, I think we've covered most of the things here. The pretty important part. You can check assigned to me right here. The plan is also here. The last part, just want to highlight, even though I said it at the start of the video, using the search bar is pretty important. For example, if I type in basketball here, or just basket, these are the results I have. I can simply click on them and know which part of my to-do list is this exact task is located. Pretty awesome, right? That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.